Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Mob Street. Today, I'm out here with my 2019 TW200, and as much as it pains me to say it, I need to do an update on the slime tire sealant that I put in to my rear tire. Now, a few videos ago, on my way back from uh, doing my um, my 2023 update, I had a staple in my tire, and everybody in that video told me, hey, put slime in there, put tire sealant in there. So that's exactly what I did. I put it in the rear tire here, and everybody said, hey, put a full bottle in the back and put a full bottle in the front. So that has got right around, well, I'm not gonna lie. I put 12 ounces in there, and I didn't put the rest in, even though everybody told me to, but that was after I put it in, so it's got about 12 ounces in there, and I need to update you on how it is holding up. So, I put that in, it's been a few weeks now, and I filled it up with 20 PSI, and since then, I have taken it on about 100 miles, so, my brother rode it when we were in Midway. We went up over Garzman's Pass and down into Brighton. So that was about eh, a 40, 50, 60 mile, I don't know, about a 60 mile ride, we'll say. And it held up. Then I've gone on rocks, I've gone on dirt, I've gone on the old back roads, I've had me on it, I've had, I'm out here tonight with my son. My son's been passenger on it, and the thing has held up. Now, it pains me to say that because from a technician standpoint, changing that stuff is a freaking pain and it's a mess. And for those who say, oh, it's in a tube, it shouldn't cause a mess. Have you ever had one of those tubes like shred or have the valve stem like rip off with that stuff in there? It is a mess. So whether it's in a tube or a tubeless tire, when you change that stuff out, it's a mess. From the consumer standpoint though, having some of that might not be a bad idea because that 12 ounce bottle excuse me that 16 ounce bottle when you first get the bike everybody says when you first get the bike deflate the tubes put that stuff in there and then as you're riding you won't have an issue some folks have said that they found like eight or nine thorns in their tire when they changed the tire out but they never had a flat because that sealant uh, sealed up those holes for them. So if you're getting one and you want to use that stuff You know, they say Flat or deflate those put the stuff in there and then you shouldn't really have any issue as long as you don't have a gaping hole in there This one was like a like a 16 inch nail. Maybe a little bit. Maybe even a 32nd inch nail, but It's held up. So if you want to have some like in uh, they, they make like little tire repair kits that you can get that have some of that in there And then they have like a co2 cartridge inflator. I'll put the link for that in the description I know Rocky Mountain carries one of those but you can use that and It might just save you and get you back home, which is What this would have done if I would have had the kit with me and the tire went flat out here in the hills where I've been riding so as far as an update goes swallowing my pride and the slime tire sealant worked a lot of other folks did say hey there's another one called ride on tire sealant that's also like a, a hydrostatic balancer that also balances the tires i've never used it i don't know if you know i, I don't know how well it works but i'll put the link to that in the description as well and then hey hopefully this helps it's informative like i said at first, I was not a fan at all. Slime. I hate this stuff. And I'll tell you why. But from the outside looking in, not from a technician standpoint, it might actually save your backside. If you're out in the hills and cruising around or on the trails or whatever it may be. Or even just on the road and you run over a staple like I did somewhere. Some of that might just get you home so if there's any questions or comments make sure to 
put those down below if you've used the slime or even let's tell you know even the ride on stuff if you've used the ride on stuff and you've had good success or even bad success you can't have bad success but if you had bad experience with it put that down there as well and let's you know talk about this a little bit more like i said i'm swallowing my pride with this it has held up it's been a few weeks it's been about 100 miles me my brother rode it and me with a passenger and it's holding up okay so comment again down below what your experience is with it and oh here's one thing too mob street was on his first podcast so if you want some stuff to listen to you know at work or while you're doing chores or whatever i'll put the link to that down there as well that was my first time being on a podcast with the dirt bike journals it was a lot of fun so check that out and as always if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff make sure to check out our instagram and the last thing if you're looking for parts for the tw for your bikes if you're looking for just like riding gear helmets goggles whatever check out my link to rocky mountain atv down below it is an affiliate link it helps me make more videos like this because this is something that i i really enjoy doing so check those down there and uh we'll call it at that i'm matt this is the 2019 tw 200 with slime tire sealant in the tires and it's working so this is mob street thanks for watching hey matt here and welcome to Mob Street. Blah, 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 blah.